Well, this is the time of year everyone loves a good ghost story, and we have one for you. Watch as Mike Shu asks you to make up your own mind is what you are about to see a ghost. A Fells Point cornerstone, Bertha's, is famous for their food and drink, their bumper stickers, their altered stickers, and for this. So, do you talk to the ghost? I do. Every day? Well, no, that was way back then. And Laura Norris is one of the are. owners. When working upstairs, she says she's felt its presence and even asked for safe passage. And so I kind of stammered and said, I'm, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm, I'm just going home. Bye bye. In fact, there are so many ghosts here in the wind. With the tails up and their fur all bushy. One ghost story follows another. You can see that it actually was a face. But it's and one thing to talk about it, and quite sorry. another to okay. see one. Yeah, this is it. Melissa Rowell Hi. gives ghost tours that start at Bertha's. Recently, so. one of her clients sent her this photo. Okay, no biggie, but look closely at the third floor window. What's that? I haven't seen those pictures. Here, let me point out a few things. The vague image of a little girl, her hands stretched out through the window. That's what people are seeing, and it coincides with a ghost story from here. And people have seen the same little girl skipping um, in the other room. Do you feel anything? No. Do you? I'm open-minded about it. Tony is Laura's husband, the, the other co-owner. Ghosts? Sure. He's heard a lot of stories in his bar. My friend Bob was saw ghosts constantly. Well, he worked it by himself upstairs. It's definitely coming out of the window. You can see the building behind her hand. Who's the ultimate judge? You are. Ghost? Optical illusion? One thing's for certain. That third floor area is sealed off. No one was up there the night that picture was taken. At Bertha's, I'm Mike Shue for WJZ.